Neither Vicky nor Bo are answering, and the police refuse to answer any questions about Jessica or the baby. I mean, Dorian, really, Dorian, I am that Dorian, child. Dorian, I know you mean well, but stay out of it. Stay out of it? Stay out. I am not going to see Star railroaded into giving away her baby. There is nothing that we can do. We just have to be patient. Please. I know that's not in your vocabulary, but be patient. I can't believe it. That baby's alive. Well, I, I certainly was due some good news. Did something happen that I'm not um, aware of? Oh. <clears throat> Langston, Langston and I, we went to... Uh, St. Anne's today. What, is something that happened to Mama? No, 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 no. Your mother's fine. She's still on that cruise. She's, you know... Well, well then why did you go this. to St. Anne's? Because Star may have found her child, but Ray has lost his. I don't know what I think. Well, you were talking about having hope back in your life, and it kind of sounded like... Look, I just found out that she was alive. That's all I can deal with right now. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to pressure you about who's going to keep her. Especially when you don't even know where she is. When I was pregnant, I was sure I was ready to give my baby to Marcy. I was at peace with my decision. But now, I'm not so peaceful. You know, after prom, Cole and I, we thought about what Hope would be like at her prom. We actually went to her grave and we dreamt about what she would be like by that, if she were alive. <laughs> what our lives would be like if we had raised her together. Oh, Star. Now she's alive and it's... <laughs> It's the dream come true that we've been waiting for. You guys deserve it. I mean, you've been through so much. I know. And a part of me, a part of me just wants to burst out with happiness, but then another part of me thinks that I'm not going to be able to handle it. Handle what? Holding hope for the first time, knowing that she's my baby. And then having to hand her to Marcy. But, Star, I mean, but like I said, I made my decision. And I have to stand by that. But it's gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would be. You know, I, Cole and I, through this whole thing, we've gotten a lot stronger than we were before. The whole reason we broke up, the whole reason why he freaked out and got on drugs and did everything that he did was because of my decision to give away the baby. Ray's just devastated. Me had these fantasies about being a father to Lola again. And, you know, she's so, so sedated at St. Anne's. She, she, she's unconscious. I tried to get him to come home with me and nah, he wouldn't budge. I had um, no idea that you were so into Ray Montes. You have no idea how into him I am. Are you and Cole working on things? We're getting closer, but it makes me nervous. Why? You guys belong together. What's going to happen when the baby comes back and Michael and Marcy take her home? We're going to get ripped apart all over again, and I don't think we can handle it. I think you're going to need each other more than ever. It's Marco. Prom! Langston, after prom! I'm so sorry! I never asked you what happened! Please, tell me everything. Well, not everything. Okay, yeah. Actually, I want you to tell me everything. <laughs> well, it was amazing. It was amazing and perfect, yes. and Aunt Dorian did not mess anything up? Well, no. Aunt Dorian didn't, um, but... What do you mean? Like, so what happened? 
It's so wonderful to have Sam and Jack back in the house. Yes, thanks. Uh -huh. Go check on him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm also very grateful that this whole situation has exonerated John of all charges. And I'll tell you, when everything settles down, I'm gonna throw the two of you a wedding, a real wedding. And that'll prove to Todd that you really are finished with him. Well, what's important right now is to make sure Star's baby gets home safely. Lola poked holes in your condom, why? Well, she couldn't have Marco, so she wanted to ruin my life. Oh my gosh, well, she could kill her mom. I'm just really glad that she didn't hurt you. You know. Look, just call Cole, okay? You know you want to. If he wanted to be here, he wouldn't. Ooh. You feel like seeing anyone? No, but if it's Aunt Dorian or my mom, they're not gonna give up. Come in! I snuck in through the kitchen to avoid Dr. Lord, and um, I brought someone. I'm back. 